Alright everyone, welcome back. My name is Ryan, and this is a third video in a series dealing with Zencart. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the sponsored ads on your Zencart and kind of clean up some of the right and left margins, removing some of the uh, sections there. Um, but just so you know, uh, there's two prior videos, and you should have watched those first. And if you haven't, what you'll want to do first is you'll want to go up to your address bar and type in www. and then the letter U and then save domains.com and once there if you look over on the right side margin and scroll down you will see some videos on Zencart they might be in a different location by the time you come and watch but that's where they are currently so I'm gonna go into the assumption that you've already learned how to set it up and you've done the one-click installation service to uh, make sure that it installs correctly rather than you manually doing it and then you've also uh, got the uh, link for the back-end login section so here's the installation that we did on the prior videos and you'll notice here on the left margin and the right margin and in the footer and also in the middle there are some ads there and I'm going to show you how we can get rid of those so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to log into my admin area here let me get back to the home page so you can see exactly where I go to and the first area that you're going to want to go to first is the tools section here and you're going to want to go down to layout box controller and the areas that we're going to want to re look for excuse me is anything that says banner box so just look through the code here on the left and look for anything that says banner box there's three of them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over to the right side margin of one of them I'm going to click on the E and what I want to do is I want to turn it off off there and off at the bottom and click update. So I've done one, I've got two more to do. Scroll down here, here's another one, banner box all. If I scroll over to the right again, let me see, let me move it over here a little bit. It is located right there. And then on the right side margin again, I've got to turn them off. Off, it's already set to off, so those are good. Let me make sure I did that one correct. Yeah, I did. Okay. So let me go and grab the final one. There it is. And if I scroll over here to the right again, I'm going to go off and off and update. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to refresh my Zen card installation. See the ads there? I'm going to refresh now and you'll see them disappear. See? They're gone but there's two left still. There's one in the middle and there's one down here at the bottom. Let me see if I can get, get down there a little bit. There it is. See it's still there at the bottom. So let me show you how we can get rid of those. I'm going to go back into my admin area and let's see here. I'm going to go back to the tools area and I'm going to go down to I think it's Define Pages Editor. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to change this to you want this text editor to read HTML area, and then I'm going to choose the main page. And there's a bunch of information that's there right now, but what I can do is I can just go in here and I can wipe it out. Just backspace over it and I can put in whatever I want. This is my new store front. If I highlight it, I can change the font to Verdana. I can change the size of the font. I can bold it. I can unbold it. I can do the color of the text if I want. Let's say I want to make it uh, blue. I can add images, links, whatever I want. I can add anything in this little area here. And Once I'm done, I'm going to click Save. Alright, now if I go back to my Zen cart, what the public is going to see, and I click refresh. See, it's changed now. Now, keep in mind, as I add products, they'll all appear down below this section, but I can kind of customize the look and feel here. So, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to want to remove this footer down at the bottom. And how we can do that is go back to our control panel. Let me just get back to the home page and this time I'm gonna go into configuration and then I'm gonna go down to where are you? Layout.
layout settings and what I want to do here is I want to look for footer position there it is right there footer position 3 and if I scroll over to the right side margin and I just leave that blank it says leave blank for none I'm going to wipe that out and I'm going to click update and I'm going to go back to refresh my home page Get the uh, image there so you can see it. Just a second, I gotta move everything up a little bit here for you. All right, well, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, anyway, look down, right down here. I'm gonna make that disappear. I'm gonna hit refresh, and now it's gone. So I can add, I can add whatever I want in the footer. I can customize a lot of this. Um, there is a form available over at ZenCart which will guide you through a lot of this stuff if you can't figure it out on your own. But uh, that's it for video number three. We'll be adding more videos. If you like the video and you find it helpful, uh, please look around the sides of the video you're watching now, wherever you're watching it, and there might be a plus or a thumbs up sign or a Facebook logo. And if you could please like us or Facebook us, that would be great. That would let others know about us. But we'll be adding more videos soon over at yousavedomains.com. Thanks for watching and we'll be adding more soon. All right, bye-bye.